Hi there, it's Ryan here at Funk Motorsport and today we're going to be showing you how to fit our brand new FK2 and FK8 Honda Civic Turbo Blanket like you see here. These are both available in carbon fibre and titanium and they both will perform exactly the same, just personal preference on style. Turbo Blankets are also designed to reduce underbonnet temperatures, creating more reliable components throughout. Now, let's see how we fit this Turbo Blanket. Okay, so let's see what's in the packet, see what you receive, see what you need. Obviously, you can have your turbo blanket in your choice of carbon fibre or titanium, like you see here. They're all in Mark Free construction for extra added durability. You're obviously going to receive your springs, which are going to be vital, and I'll show you those a little bit later. And your product guide. I'll thoroughly recommend reading this cover to cover, just to understand a little bit more about turbo blankets, do's and don'ts, and things like that. Things you may need, definitely wear a pair of gloves, especially if your hands are sensitive. And you may need uh, a pair of pliers, a springs puller tool, or even just a cable tie, if uh, just to help you out a little bit further. Okay, first up, you're gonna have to remove your air intake tube and your heat shield, which should be pretty straightforward. From there, you'll have the top of your turbo exposed like you see here. Okay, now let's grab our turbo blanket. And I always recommend fitting your two retaining springs to the hardest to reach points first. This will be on, on the, the bottom part of the towel, which you can see here. They fit in place nice and easy, just like that. And it's just a lot easier to do this now while you have the space and then get the easier to reach ones a little bit later on. So now just the easy coverage and you know easy to reach really. You, some people do choose to pull um, some cable tires on the end there just to have something to grab on and pull. Other people prefer to use a spring puller tool or a pair of pliers, but for this application, I won't need them. So simply start with your turbo blanket and the towel on the hardest to reach and slide that nicely underneath your actuator arm. You can actually remove the pin from that. And if you, if you prefer to a little bit more coverage, slide that right under there and just keep going until you can't go any further. Sit that roughly in place like you see there and when fitting the turbo blanket, you'll notice there'll be an oil and coolant return lines. Please make sure you do not cover these with the turbo blanket and they'll fit nice and snugly down the side. You'll notice your turbo blanket has a nice cutout here to accommodate the bracket found just here underneath your turbo. Make sure that sits nicely around that and then we'll continue. You can also see that there's a nice cutout to work around the shape of the turbo and the actuator arm. Make sure that's sitting snug before you continue. Once the turbo blanket's fitted around the bracket, grab the closest retaining spring and fit it to the anchor just like so. You'll notice that at this stage, the turbo blanket will start to sit slightly awkward just because there's more tension on one side, but that will be rectified once we fit the other. As completed on the other side, we're gonna complete a very similar process. Grab the other retaining spring on the opposite side anchor and secure on the anchor above. That's it, we're almost there. Now you may need to just manipulate your turbo blanket just so it's sitting right and it isn't interfering with any uh, other coolant lines or anything like that in the surrounding area. You can do that just simply with your hands. Don't be afraid, just to really try to manipulate that into place. So there you go, that's how to fit a turbo blanket to an FKA or an FK2 Honda Civic. If you've got any other questions, hit us at funkworldsport.com.